Stellantis is heading for a breakup, and the clock's ticking. Even the die-hard fans are starting to lose faith in any sort of comeback. When the fire sale begins, Jeep is going to be the star up for grabs. No doubt about it, this iconic brand is most valuable asset of the collapsing company. And while the price tag's going to be hefty, every major automaker will be interested when the auction starts. But, how far they'll go? Let's see who the most likely contenders are in the bidding war for this legendary nameplate. You won't like some of the options. Ford. As the biggest automaker in the United States, Ford seems like the obvious frontrunner to snatch up Jeep if Stellantis puts the brand on the market. With their massive resources and strong presence in the SUV and truck classes, Ford has the muscle to pull it off. But from what we've seen, it doesn't look like the blue oval is itching to add Jeep to its portfolio. One key reason is that Ford already has its iconic off-road powerhouse, the Raptor lineup, which has raised the bar for high-performance off-road trucks and SUVs. And let's not forget the rebirth of the Bronco, positioned as a direct rival to the Jeep Wrangler. With this SUV in the lineup, Ford might not see the Wrangler as a high-priority acquisition. Another challenge is Jeep's need for heavy modernization. The brand would require a significant expenditure to keep up with evolving technologies. Ford may prefer to continue investing in its own lineup, leaving Jeep as a more tempting target for other companies eager to enter or expand in the off-road segment. So, more likely suitor is GM. This company seems to have best bets. By acquiring Jeep, General Motors could create a dream team lineup of off-roaders, pairing Jeep's legendary models like the Wrangler and Grand Cherokee with its own off-road stars such as the Chevy Colorado ZR2 and GMC AT4 vehicles. This would position General Motors to dominate the off-road segment like never before, offering a comprehensive range of rugged, trail-capable models that few competitors could match. Beyond expanding its off-road portfolio, GM would also gain access to Jeep's fiercely loyal fanbase. Jeep enthusiasts are known for their passion, and integrating that following into GM's already large customer base could boost sales and solidify its position in the market. With the addition of Jeep, GM would be able to compete head-to-head -head with Ford, especially in the off-road arena, challenging their Bronco and Raptor models on all fronts. But, a few other contenders might throw their hats into the ring, each with equal potential benefit. For example, Honda. They could emerge as a surprising player in the bidding. While off-roading is the primary target for many buyers, Honda has been quietly carving its niche with the Trailsport models, which blend everyday utility with rugged capabilities. This new direction shows commitment to adventure-ready vehicles, making Jeep an intriguing option. However, the Japanese company might find greater appeal in acquiring Ram trucks, which are well known for their durability and capability, but they've frequently been criticized for lacking innovation and fresh design. This is where Japanese automaker could step in and make a significant impact. But Honda's hesitation to acquire not only Jeep, but Ram as well, could also be due to concerns over labor relations. The union's strong influence in American automotive manufacturing could complicate negotiations, as Honda has traditionally maintained a non-union workforce in its U.S. plants. But one other Japanese carmaker doesn't have such problems. Toyota. A player we can't overlook in this discussion, although Toyota's interest seems unlikely. The Japanese company has built its own reputation for reliability and efficiency. Additionally, with a strong commitment to the off-road segment already in place, the addition of Jeep could dilute Toyota's brand identity. Instead of diving into a hefty investment to acquire Jeep, the manufacturer is more likely to stay the course, focusing on fine-tuning its current operations and pushing the envelope on innovations. These are the major players in the US market, but there is a dark horse in this race. Volkswagen. VW may seem like an underdog, but don't underestimate them, especially considering the German automaker's pressing need for off-road expertise. As the SUV and crossover markets continue to expand, Jeep's rugged reputation and strong brand identity would serve as the ideal foundation for Volkswagen to boost the presence in the off-road realm. Not only that, but acquiring Jeep would also allow Volkswagen to strengthen its position in the US market, where off-road vehicles are increasingly popular. The German engineered, made in America, means quality and performance. The Germans have the finances to invest heavily in the modernization, ensuring that the Jeep brand retains its legendary status while also integrating cutting edge technology. Moreover, the interest in Ram trucks could also play a significant role in Volkswagen's strategy. Their previous attempts to enter the pickup segment have not gone as planned, so acquiring known brand could solidify their foothold in this vital market. Tesla. 
This is the last thing we want, using Jeep's legacy to greenwash the reputation of EVs. This reminds us of GM's move with Hummer, which many viewed as a lame attempt to revive a once iconic nameplate. Fortunately, Tesla is facing significant tax burdens in Europe, which may restrict its profits and force the automaker to manage its resources more carefully. Given these financial pressures, investing heavily in Jeep may not align with Tesla's immediate priorities. However, don't underestimate Elon Musk's visionary mindset.